Thank you. Good afternoon. The first piece on our part of the program is an original tone poem for band composed in 1958 by Ron Nelson called Mayflower Overture. It is dedicated to Frederick Fennell and the Eastman Wind Ensemble. Uh, this Thanksgiving was particularly special for my family. Um, in September, my mother was accepted into the General Society of Mayflower Descendants as a descendant of Elder William Brewster, the spiritual leader of the Pilgrims during their first two years in the Plymouth Colony. The Mayflower Overture aims to depict the epic journey of the Pilgrims to the New World and is presented in three sections, departure, storm, and arrival in the New World. The sighting of land, um, upon the sighting of land in November of 1620. Familiar psalms from the Answorth Psalter are used in the composition. Psalm 3, Psalm 136, and Psalm 100.
next piece is a suite from Tchaikovsky's Ballet, The Nutcracker, arranged by James Kernow. This arrangement contains the overture, Arabian dance, coffee, Chinese dance, tea, uh, dance of the reed flutes, dance of the sugar plum fairy, march from the nutcracker, Russian dance, trepek, and the waltz of the flowers.
Our next piece is a cheeky arrangement of the holiday classic Jingle Bells, arranged by Jay Dawson. Our next selection, Prelude in Pasacalia from Dido and Aeneas, may seem out of place uh, because it is also known as Dido's Lament. Uh, but it was chosen because of the backstory of the penultimate piece work on the program, whole second suite for military band. I'll say more about that later. Um, the following prelude, um, with, um, Following the prelude, the recitative begins with Dido saying, Thy hand, Belinda, darkness shades me. On thy bosom let me rest. More I would, but death invades me. Death is now a welcome guest. And then in the Pasticalia, When I am laid in earth, may my wrongs uh, create no troubles in thy breast. Remember me, but ah, forget my fate.
So now to put that in context, um, it wasn't this actual piece, but Holst uh, composed the second suite for military band in 1911. But he was so preoccupied with the task of supervising a performance of another work by Purcell called The Fairy Queen that he forgot he had composed a second suite for, for over a decade, or for a decade. It was only when he was approached about writing a second suite in 1921 that he remembered the work he had finished back in 1911. Like in his first suite for military band, Holst used British folk songs and dances. There are four movements this work, march, song without words, I'll love my love, song of the blacksmith, and fantasy, fantasia on the Dargason. In the final movement, the Dargason, he interweaves a, um, a song we associate with this season, associate with this season, <coughs> green sleeves, with the Dargason. <laughs> Thank you. 
you. Thank you. Thank you. Our final work on the program is Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson. It was actually begun during a July heat wave in 1946. It makes sense because most of us look forward to winter when it is hot in, in summer and forward to summer when it's cold in winter. <laughs> Nevertheless, this has become a holiday classic. We hope you enjoy and happy holidays from all of us to all of you. I can't get my bells. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.